Hello everyone, I'm Greg Otto with FedScoop TV, and we're here at the Mobile Gov Summit, and I'm talking with Rob Palmer, the Deputy CTO for DHS. Rob, thanks for joining us today. Thank you. So, tell me how your agency is working to make the use of mobile devices more efficient, effective, and cheaper. In short, we're organizing the work and, and taking, uh, taking little bites. It's, it's something that is uh, sufficiently uh, massive in undertaking. Uh, with all of the facets of, of mobile, uh, just the three areas that you described in terms of cheaper, consolidating contracts, looking for opportunities uh, as much as possible. That's both inside DHS as well as in conjunction with, uh, with federal guidance. Uh, in terms of efficient, uh, it's, it's really just about uh, how do we get to the technology and how do we build uh, a good glide path to bring that innovative technology into our operations. Uh, in the most efficient manner. So that's, uh, in short, chunk it up and get progress where you can get progress. So you touched on it a little bit, but what's the biggest barrier to mobile adoption in the federal government? Is it cost? Is it security? Is it something else? It's a good question. I don't know that it's, uh, I don't know about cost. Cost uh, is one that, that we typically rule out uh, in terms of we, we see these, these mobile devices being somewhat cheaper and we see the price point coming down through various mechanisms that, we, that we've put in place. Uh, really, with any new technology, the barrier is how do we, uh, how do we modify if we need to policy, uh, whether that's technical policy, acquisitions policy, how do we procure devices, and, and, uh, and again, how do we infuse that innovative technology into, into operations. Particularly challenging in the mobile space is uh, the rapid change, right? Uh, if we're looking at it today, it might be a current set of solutions or, or the solution might present itself in one manner. Uh, two, three, six months from now, that solution may look a little different. And, uh, and we have to be able to, in this particular environment, either live with the, the solution that we chose or be flexible enough to, to adapt to that. Uh, so, so those barriers are, are really um, really about the administrative side of things as well as um, the ability to bring that technology into your operational environment and secure it appropriately. So you talked about that relationship between being flexible or just using current solutions. Is mm -hmm. that a barrier to innovation? And if it's not, what other barriers are there to innovation when it comes to mobility in the federal government? What we're finding right now uh, is, is not necessarily that the security community is, uh, is, is um, uh, being a barrier, but we do have to. These, these, these devices, the, the technology communicates differently. And so, so we do have to consider what the security methodology um, is going forward. How does that need to change? And, uh, and so that takes time. That's not something that uh, that, uh, that we can just switch out on the fly. So, so that's one aspect of it. And then the other that we talk about a lot is how do we get those, uh, those small innovative entities the ability to compete in the federal market? And, and, uh, and even the, the next step after that is even if they can compete, how do we uh, how do we bring that innovation into our existing uh, tool sets from an IT perspective? And so those are the, the, those are the things that we have to look at is, is how do we make it easier to bring that innovation in, uh, assuming that's what you want to do as an agency. Great. Always interesting to hear from you, Rob. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you.